Hey everyone, hope you all are well. The first thing I'm doing today, as always, is priming the eye area for the shadows that are to come. And to do that, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. It's a clear, transparent primer. So I make sure to prep my lids beforehand to cover up any discoloration. I layer this then on top and then my shadows have a nice, smooth base to go on top of. They apply very easily and last all day long as well. So I'm using the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Iconic Division Palette and the first shade I'm taking is the kind of mustard shade, the second one in on the bottom row. And I'm using a nice soft blending brush just to take this shadow into the crease. I've placed my brush down in the outer portion of the crease and I'm using a mix of circular and windshield wiper motions to take me across the crease right into that inner corner. Then once I've carried the colour all the way across the crease, I'm working on fading it out. So I'm just placing my brush over that top edge, wriggling back and forth just to pull the shadow upwards and fade it out. So I'm intensifying that shade now, going in with a second layer and just repeating the process. And then I'm using larger motions higher up in the crease towards the brow bone and on the outer edge of the eye to fade out that shade and give me a nice elongated shape to the shadow. I do like to wing it out towards the tail of my brow to give the eyes a nice lift. So I'm then taking that kind of light, warm terracotta shade. I want the first shade to appear like a halo over the shades that are to come. So I have a nice light wash of that shade on the eyes and I'm going to deepen it up now with this one. So on that same fluffy brush, I'm starting to work this shadow into the crease again, just to give me a nice orange hue to the look because uh, it is a Paddy's Day look after all. And I'm swirling and blending my brush, fading out that shade, making sure not to cover up the shade that I applied previously. You do want to blend it into it but not cover it up. We're just in the process now of creating a really nice gradient effect. So like before I'm not just applying one layer of this shadow. I'm going to go in with a second helping of it now just to really build up that color. I really want it to pop but when you're working with color like this like I am today if you do want that uh, shadow to appear more intense if you want your shadows to appear more vibrant on the eyes you could always add a white base after your primer and this will just really help them pop something like the NYX jumbo pencil in milk is ideal I wanted a touch more orange to the look so I'm taking this shade here from the wet and wild rose in the air palette and I'm applying that nice and deep in the crease making sure to fade it in with those two shades that we applied previously so just run it over and back, wriggle back and forward, use circular motions to blend it out. And then once you're happy with how that looks, we're going to move on to the greens. So I'm taking that matte green in the center of the bottom row on a C-shaped brush. And I'm starting by tapping this down on the outer edge, the eyelid. And I remember when I used this shadow before, I had a bit of fallout. So I'm just being careful with it today. I'm applying a little at a time building up that shadow in small sections and then gradually working my way across the lid. So I'm just applying this in a couple of layers and building up the intensity and I'm just taking it about halfway across the eyelid. So with the green, as you can see, it's slightly overlapped with the orange in the crease. So I'm going back in now with my fluffy brush and no product on it. And I'm just going to fuse the crease and lid shades together. Next then, I'm taking that nice glitzy green on a pencil brush. I've sprayed the brush with a little bit of water to add a bit more sparkle to the shadow. And now I'm sweeping this down on the inner half of the eyelid, bringing it over to meet the green that we applied previously. To add a bit more depth now, I'm taking that dark green, the first one on the second row, and I'm wriggling this firstly just above the lash line on the outer edge of the eye and then I'm sweeping it outwards at an angle and then I'm pulling it back into the crease. And I'm just going to again use my little sweeping motions just to fade and blend this shadow out. Um, sometimes it can take a couple of layers with this shade. I did find it kind of started to skip ever so slightly on the lid so I really needed to be careful with building it up. 
then I'm moving back to that pencil brush again with no product on it and I'm wriggling it a little bit more over the green on the lid just overlapping it so the shimmer fades nicely to nothing as you move across the lid to the outer edge of the eye. So we're going to work on the lower lash line now so we're going to repeat the exact same steps as before so i'm using a pencil brush just to apply that mustardy shade all the way down along the lower lash line once i've coated that area i'm going back in with the terracotta shade and i'm warming that up so just blending back and forth along the lash line from outer to inner corner and then I'm going to move to the green. So I'm starting by taking that light green, the kind of mossy one first that I applied to the outer portion of the lid. And I'm sweeping this down along the lower lash line, focusing this more so on the outer half. And then just really smoking it out and blending it downwards, fading it in with those two orange shades. And then I'm taking the darker green again and I'm going to just take this Again, mostly to the outer section, the outer portion um, of the lower lash line. So just giving it a really, really good blend. And once I'm happy with how that looks, I'm taking the number seven Amazing Eyes Eye Pencil. This is in the shade black. And I'm just applying this to the waterline, just coating that area, making sure there's no fleshy tones peeking through. I've then applied some of the eye lore, smoky eyelashes. And then I'm going to blend my own lashes in with the false ones using the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. And I'm going to coat the bottom lashes too. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you didn't, I've got plenty of other tutorials on my channel. Plenty of Paddy's Day looks over the years. I hope you have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day come the 17th. And I'll catch you all really soon.